Hello everyone. Um, we have another video on Turkish language. This is going to be uh, for the verb to be in Turkish. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you learn anything from this video, please um, give a thumbs up. And if you want to follow the upcoming videos, um, you can subscribe if you like. Okay, um, in uh, this video, uh, I'm going to uh, first of all uh, talk about the harmony of the vowels, the rule of harmony of the vowels in Turkish, and uh, because we uh, go through the suffixes and we follow that rule in any suffix of any grammatical point and you need to know it. Okay, so here we have the chart and in this chart um, as you see we have the sound O and U and A and U. Here, we call these four sounds thick sounds, and we have ö, ü, ä, and e. We call them thin sounds. So our suffix comes accordingly. If the last syllable of the uh, word um, consists of o or u, uh, we have the suffix which has the sound u. If we have a or u, we will have the suffix which contains one of these two. If we have ö or ü at the end, at the last syllable of a word, um, it is going to have, the suffix is going to have uh, the sound ü. If we have a or e, the suffix is going to have one of these um, two sounds inside. Okay. Um, the more I explain, you may get confused, but um, let's go through the examples to see how we can handle this situation. The verb to be now. We are having this formula. We have ban, blah, blah, im, and it will appear in four different shapes, as I uh, explained in the um, harmony of... Uh, vowels part so it is going to be i am we have san blah blah sin in four different shapes four different forms which means you are uh, we have o blah blah dir but they may not use dir i don't know why but they have already uh, kind of omitted this verb um, which they use sometimes but rarely often and it may appear in four different forms, which means he, she, or it is. They use all um, all of these three subject pronouns um, with this one O. Okay, here we have bees, blah, blah, is in four different forms, which means we are. And we have sees, blah, blah, sin is in four different forms, which means you are in plural form. And we have on lar, blah, blah, lar, which they rarely often use lar. So we um, have them in two different shapes, uh, which means they are. Okay, let's go through the first subject pronoun. And um, here we have ban, blah, blah, im which means I am for the words with the last syllable that consists O and U we have um if we could have a or e we're going to use im if we have O or U we are going to use um if we have ö or ü we are going to use um okay I have prepared some words accordingly. Here we have ban jerahum. As you see, we have the sound a and we have the suffix um. 
means I am a surgeon. Ben kadınım. I am a woman. Okay, I need to tell you something. We have the article here, a, but I didn't uh, put the equivalent of a here because grammatically they don't need to put an article. I could have used bir here, which means one, uh, for, to be an equivalent for a, uh, but um, they don't need to use it. And um, I didn't bring more than two words here, so it wouldn't be complicated. That's another thing. Okay, let's go to the um, other examples. Ban öğretmenim. Ban öğretmenim means I am a teacher. Ban sessizim. Ban sessizim means I am quiet. Ban doktorum. Oh, sorry. Ban doktorum means I am a doctor. Ben mecburum. Ben mecburum. I am compelled. Ben kuaförüm. Ben kuaförüm. I am a hairdresser. Ben üzgünüm. Ben üzgünüm means I am sorry. Okay. Let's go to other examples. In this examples that I'm going to present, we have the uh, vowel at the end of the word and we have the suffix which starts with a vowel. So we are going to put a consonant in between. Examples are like ben aşçıyım. You see, here we have Two vowels here, ı and ı together. We need to put y here to make it easier to pronounce. I am a chef. Ben hoşçıyım. Ben buradayım. Ben buradayım. Means I am here. Ben iyiyim. Ben iyiyim. Means I am good. Ben hemşireyim. Ben hemşireyim. Means I am a nurse. Ben mutluyum. Ben mutluyum. Means I am happy. Ben komandoyum. Ben komandoyum. It means I am a commando. Ben kötüyüm. Ben kötüyüm. Means I feel bad. They don't say I am bad. But that's, I mean, in English, we don't say I am bad. We say I feel bad. But... Here it is used as a to be verb. So, okay, um, we're going. We're going to the next subject pronoun. San blah blah sin. Here we go. So, if we have a and u in the last syllable, we have sin. If we have e or a or e, we have sin. If we have o or u, we have sun. If we have ö or u. We have sun. Sen cerrahsın. You are a surgeon. Sen kadınsın. You are a woman. Sen öğretmensin. You are a teacher. Sen sessizsin. You are quiet. Sen doktorsun. You are a doctor. Sen mecbursun. Sen mecbursun. You are compelled. Sen kuaförsün. Sen kuaförsün. You are a hairdresser. Sen üzgünsün. Sen üzgünsün. You are sad. Okay. Um, so here we have, as you see, we have a, u and sun. We have a, e and sin. We have o, u and sun. We have ö, ü and sun as we have put them here okay it was difficult to find a word for all of them because some of them are not very common like this one okay next is he she it we use all for all of them and we use the verb dear or let's say we don't use it i mean they don't use it let's see how it is And we have another thing coming up. Uh, the suffix der or any suffix that starts with the sound 
may change to t because of these aspirated and fricative uh, consonants. So here we have p, t, k, h, f, s, ch, and sh sounds. If we have any suffix that starts with the in Turkey, it is going to change to t. This is an assimilation which they prefer to write it. I mean, they didn't have to write it. I don't know why they did it. It happens in any language. I mean, we don't write assimilations. We just pronounce them. But anyway, this is how uh, they have decided to write anything they hear. Okay. Uh, جراتر. I have put this um, suffix in uh, green color. So, I will read them once without them. They are already correct without using the um, verb term. So, um, you will see both of them at once. Okay. O cerrah, o kadın, o öğretmen, o sessiz, o doktor, o mecbur, o kuaför, o üzgün. Okay, so we didn't use the verb is, I mean the equivalent the verb is, here. And that's why in reverse Turkish people have a um, problem with the uh, verb is, actually. They don't use is, the uh, consequence of an uh, intralingual error when they learn English. Uh, this is why, because they don't use is in their own language. <clears throat> they use it, but rarely often. But I use it sometimes, and they laugh at me. <laughs> they say that I uh, talk funny, but anyway. <clears throat> so, um, let's go through the meaning. O Jerater, he is a surgeon. O Kadunder, he is a woman. He is a woman. If she is a woman. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, my mistake. Um, he is a teacher. O sessizdir. He is quiet. O doktordur. He is a doctor. O mecburdur. He is compelled. O kuafordur. Uh, he is a hairdresser. O üzgündür. Uh, he is sad. <laughs> he is a woman. I'm not going to change this. <laughs> okay. Let's go through other examples. We have bees, blah, blah, is. In four different shapes to say we are. Okay, we have a, a, is. We have a, e, is. O, u, us. And e, u, us. Let's go through them. Biz cerrahız. Biz kadınız. Biz öğretmeniz. Biz sessiziz. Biz doktoruz, biz mecburuz, biz kuaförüz, biz üzgünüz. Let's go through the meaning. Biz cerrahız, we are surgeons. Biz kadınız, we are women. Biz öğretmeniz, we are teachers. Biz sessiziz, we are quiet. Biz doktoruz, we are doctors. Biz mecburuz, we are compelled. Biz kuaförüz, we are hairdressers. Biz üzgünüz, we are sad. Okay, now other examples will be with the ones which end to a vowel. Biz aşçıyız, we are chefs. Biz buradayız, we are here. Biz iyiyiz, we are good. Biz hemşireyiz. We are nurses. Biz mutluyuz. We are happy. Biz komandoyuz. We are commandos. Biz kötüyüz. We are or we feel bad. Okay. Um, as you see, I couldn't find a word which ends to ö. Um, so, nothing to do. Just we don't have an example for this one. Okay. We have siz... Siniz means you are in plural form. Okay, we have all 
and we use sunas. We have sinis for a and e. We have sunus for o and u. We have sunus for ö and ü. Siz cerrahsınız. Siz kadınsınız. Siz öğretmensiniz. Siz testistiniz. Siz doktorsunuz. Siz mecbursunuz. Siz kuaförsünüz. Siz üzgünsünüz. The meaning siz cerrahsınız. You are surgeons. Siz kadınsınız. You are women. Siz öğretmensiniz. You are teachers. Siz sessizsiniz. You are quiet. Siz doktorsunuz. You are doctors. Siz mecbursunuz. You are compelled. Siz kuaförsünüz. You are hairdressers. Siz üzgünsünüz. You are sad. Okay. Let's go through the other subjective pronouns. Here we have onlar and we have lar in two different shapes. And as we had in der, um, they don't use lar more often, but you're going to be familiar with it. Means they are. Let's go. We have lar in two forms of lar and lar. And we use lar for the words which end or have the sound a, u, o, u at the last syllable. And we use lar in the, for the um, a, e, o, u sounds at the end of the syllable if they exist at the end of the syllable. Okay, um, not at the end of the syllable, at the last syllable of any word. Yes, here we go. Okay, as you see, I've written it in green. Once I'm going to read them without the suffix, which is already correct. Then I'm going to read them uh, with the suffix. Okay, onlar cerra, onlar kadın, onlar öğretmen, onlar sessiz, onlar doktor, onlar mecbur. Onlar kuaför, onlar üzgün. Now I'm going to read them with the suffixes. Onlar cerrahlar means they are surgeons. Onlar kadınlar means they are women. Onlar öğretmenler, they are teachers. Onlar sessizler means they are quiet. Onlar doktorlar means they are doctors. Onlar mecburlar, they are compelled. Um, onlar kuaförler, which means they are hairdressers. Onlar üzgünler means they are sad. Okay, to sum up whatever I said, here we have again um, the series of the suffixes and their um, subjects. We have ban im for I am, san sin for um, you are, order for he is, biz is for we are, siz siniz for you are, onlar lar for they are. Okay. I hope this video was um, useful for you and um, please give uh, me some comments and I would love to answer them and do not forget to like the video if it was helpful for you and if you subscribe you will make me so happy. Take your notes, write all of them on a notebook. Repeat the video if you need, um, and I'm sure you need to listen to it several times um, because it's not an easy language. I can understand, but it's a beautiful language. You'll enjoy it. Good luck.